I'm Damien Bacci and welcome to my back room here in sunny Tampa Bay, Florida. And today I'm going to show you a fun 12 bar blues in the key of E where you'll be mixing a Chicago box shuffle rhythm and lead guitar at the same time. And learning something like this is great if you're playing in a trio situation. Mixing a shuffle rhythm and lead at the same time really helps fill it out. And also this is something that sounds great when you play it just by yourself. You don't even need a band or backing track. In fact, let me play you a few bars so you can hear how it sounds without accompaniment. Sounded pretty good, right? Now before I show you what I played during the performance, slowly, up close, and with on-screen tabs, I'd first just like to go over what I was playing during that 12-bar blues real quick. So first I start off with this quick little intro to get things going. So what am I playing there? Well that lick is made up from notes from combining the E minor and major pentatonic scales together. Now you're most likely more familiar with playing something like that up here in this position. Right? That's our minor pentatonic there in E. But we're playing it down here. So right after that short little intro, we start the box shuffle over E over the one chord. And then we play this cool double stop. Now to play this lick, I'm putting my finger on the seventh fret on the E string and the eighth fret on the B string. And the trick to this lick is you want to alternate slightly bending up the B string a tad. Let me show you. Let me play it for you one more time so you can see it. All right, so now we're back to the box pattern again. Now we move down real quick and play this E minor pentatonic lick. And now we play the box shuffle over A over the four chord. And this quick lick contains notes from the A minor pentatonic scale. And then it's back to the one chord and we're playing this. And now over the five chord over B, we'll be playing licks from the B minor and major pentatonic scales. Then over the four chord, we're playing this lick. And that's just notes from combining the A minor and major pentatonic scales. And what I really dig is that chromatic line that I do down to the minor seventh. And to finish up, we play these double stops, and I probably could have played them on the B and E string. But I wanted a fatter sound, so I played it up here. Now friends, if you're enjoying this lesson so far, please give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you're digging this style of old school guitar playing, I just wanted to let you know that I have two great full length courses on rockabilly guitar and on jump blues guitar that are available on my website at damianbachi.com. Both courses come with PDF file guitar tabs and backing tracks. And they're both available either as DVDs or as downloads. These courses, friends, will not disappoint. All right, so let me show you how I played this slowly, up close, and with on-screen tabs. And before I forget, at the end of this lesson, I've supplied a backing track for you to use for practice. All right, cheers, let's learn this.
Well, friends, that's all the time that we have for this lesson today. I want to thank you for hanging out with me. If you dug this lesson, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And again, if you're digging these old school guitar lessons of mine, I think you'll really enjoy my full length courses on rockabilly guitar and on jump blues guitar that are available on my website at DamianBachi.com. And now friends, it's time for some inspiring words, but this is gonna be a fun one because I'm celebrating a milestone and it's on location. Check it out. Hi everyone, I'm currently in Orlando and today as of this recording is June 9th and tomorrow is my 50th birthday. Can you believe it? And for this milestone birthday, I've booked a room at Universal's Aventura Hotel and I'd like you to come celebrate with me. Let's have some fun. I'll definitely be hitting up that pool in just a little bit, but first, let me show you the room. Okay, these are the accommodations and uh, pretty cool um, panoramic floor to ceiling windows. Uh, really cool view. In fact, we've got the uh, Cabana Bay right there and Volcano Bay to the left there, water park. You can kind of get a view of the Orlando Eye. One thing I might add though, when all the blinds are open, it does get certainly a lot hotter and the AC really struggles to uh, keep a temperature. This birthday is going to be very low key. My daughter and my parents happen to be in New York, so they're not here to celebrate with me, but my lovely girlfriend Bonnie's with me, and I'm looking forward to everything that we're gonna do while we're here staying at the resort. And here's the rooftop bar. Let's get a drink. What is this drink called? Butterfly's Kiss. I like this fun little straw. I like the whole thing looks fun. This has, I don't know, but it's got cucumbers, it's got um, rum, uh, some liqueur in it, and ginger beer. some ginger beer. This looks good. All right, cheers. And this is a view of Interstate 4. And this is peanut butter whiskey in this thing. All right, yummy. Cheers. This is the Strong Water Tavern, and we're just minutes away from my birthday, so let's uh, do some more celebrating here. All right, we got a rum old fashioned. This is the Rum Revival, which has Mount Gay rum with blueberry basil shrub. Two birthday shots here. These are pretty good. What'd you think of yours? Strong. Strong? Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna walk down this spiral staircase and we're gonna hit the ferry. That's gonna take us to City Walk. This is the resort next to ours called Sapphire Falls. Really cool theming in here. All right, so we're gonna get on a boat that's gonna take us to City Walk. And here's the boat. This is gonna be fun. This quick little boat ride was a lot of fun to city walk. I enjoyed all the theming, checking out the landscaping, and I like the look at the water that they seem to have dyed blue. <laughs> but who doesn't enjoy a little boat ride every now and then, right? Now here's a fun fact about me. I've grown up on boats. I've owned two boats in my lifetime. When I was a kid, my father was a commercial clammer, and I used to go out on his boat with him, and he also was a sailor. And I spent countless hours on a sailboat in my teenage years. Right there is the Hard Rock Live. I played there one time in 2002 with my band on July 4th. It's a pretty big venue in there, and uh, it was a great show. And, and here's a picture from that show. Universal Studios. So in the late 1990s, maybe around 98 or something, 97, I used to play this place. It used to be the City Walk Jazz Club, and now it's the karaoke bar. 
but I had a whole like month playing here. Uh, played here a couple times actually, but did a whole month stint here. It's pretty cool. We're not gonna have time to go in here today, but have to go in there sometime. Very neat steampunk building. <laughs> Heard it's pretty cool in there. Okay, so we're gonna get some drinks here at the Lone Palm Airport Tiki Bar. This is our bartender, Joe. He made some great drinks. He's a good natured dude and he really made our experience there that much better. Now, I'm not really a Jimmy Buffett fan, but I definitely respect his musical legacy and I thought it was really cool to see his personal seaplane here. It's a 1954 Grumman Albatross and I believe there was under 500 of these planes built. Now, Jimmy Buffett named this seaplane the Hemisphere Dancer. And once in 1996, the seaplane was mistakenly shot by Jamaican authorities thinking it was a drug running plane. And luckily, no one was hurt. We decided to take a quick little adventure to Kissimmee and visit Old Town. Basically, it's a shopping and entertainment complex kind of built around Main Street USA type of theming. And here we've got an old school American favorite. Let me know in the comments, when's the last time you ate at an a and Here's another fun fact. In 1992, I applied to work at one, but I never heard back from them. Let's take a look in this general store. I bet they have some really cool stuff in there. I like the old signage here. We've got some lollipops here with crickets in them and some lollipops with some ants. Mmm, tasty. No thank you. And here we've got an old school candy favorite. We've got candy cigarettes. I used to love getting these as a kid. <laughs> as we get older, you realize more and more that life is not about the things that you own or how many notes you can play on the guitar in 30 seconds. Because really what it all comes down to is family, friends, and what type of person you've become. And my goal is to try as best as I can as I move forward in life to try to be better understanding with people, to be more kind, and to be more giving. And also I want to keep on learning, keep on discovering. Basically I want to stay curious. Life is an incredible journey and I'm so thankful that I'm on this ride. And I'm very thankful that you're all here with me today to share this 50th birthday milestone thing with me. And with that, friends, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Much love to you all. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon in another guitar lesson. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.